This conference will now be recorded. So you understood the consideration to be taken care of when I'm using the web service keyword. So now, if you remember, when I was inputting my uh, still to my client org, and when during the parsing, I was getting some kind of error, like the any type I change to my uh, string type. So when you do parsing, what kind of common error you may get depending on the still files. So if there is some error comes up, then how you are going to handle it? Okay, so when you are doing that, so you may get an error like uh, you may have multiple binding in your still file. So when you have multiple binding, what you can do? You will get error, fail to parse still found more than one WSTL binding. Okay, if you let me open any we still what we have, then I can I can I can just explain what is that we still file. Yes, I'm just opening one still file which we worked yesterday. Okay. So now in this still I have exactly one binding and Salesforce now supporting only single binding. If you see here binding so now i have exactly one binding i don't have any other binding here and if you have multiple binding what you have to do you have to see which binding you are going to use for your call apart from that if any other bindings are there just you have to remove it you have to delete it from the still file so now uh, if you got the error like found more than one wstl binding so make sure it only contains a single binding and single prototype and you modify the visual file and delete unnecessary binding so simply you can open the wstl in your uh, notepad or anywhere simply you can go on and delete the binding and associated port whatever the things we have deleted so this binding is associated to lead manager so i have to delete this binding and this port so if you have multiple binding and multiple port will be there which you have to remove it okay that we have to do if you got any any time multiple binding errors so remember salesforce supports only single binding sometimes you may get error external schema import not supported so like whatever the schema i'm going to use okay like under the wstl types let me show you this wstl you can see all the types are defined here okay as w still types and here see the xrg schema for what we have everything defined here if there is some complex schema and sometimes what happen in your visual file uh, for your schema you may have another visual file or another xml file who is defining your your types okay and uh, here if you see here the element and complex type and what element it needs everything defined the definitions here but instead of this it may happen sometimes this schema defined or pointing to some external schema so your selfers when parsing the wstl they cannot parse any external schema okay if you have any external schema imported then we will get this error external schema import not supported so what you can do simply you can open your wstl in your text editor you can go to the wstl types nothing but here you can see the types you can go under these types then we can see if there is any xst file content now if you see here i don't have any xst file so i have defined my xst here instead of that if any xst file content are there you have to remove that xst file content from uh, my wstl you can go to that schema definitions and from inside that schema definitions you can copy the content what is inside the schema and that you can bring and paste here and then you can remove your xst input so whenever i am referring any external schema i will have a tag called xst import with that import we can simply uh, get the issue like this let me show you quickly if I'll just get it. Some some schema I'm just going to show you, which will help you to understand 
in more detail. Let me see if you have any schema, such schema if I right now. No, I don't have the schema right now. Uh, it's okay. So what you can do here simply to understand, uh, whenever you have any specific schema, okay, in that schema, if you have any uh, access key of import type, okay, so if you have any access key import, then you will get such errors. So you can fail to pass WSTL where your external schema not supported. If you get that, so simply on this XST import, which schema definition file is there, you can open that schema definition file. And from there, you can bring the schema and you can keep in your WSTL types. Okay, you can paste the schema content. Once all schema in your WSTL, then simply go and comment your XST import. So whenever you get this error, try it out, the error will be resolved. Same way, sometimes you may get error, fail to pass you still because of unable to find binding. Okay, sometimes the binding may not be there. It, 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 it will pass the error like this. So when you get like this, you can go to your definitions. If you see the definitions here, okay. Here I define my target namespace and all these things, okay. So if this target namespace not defined with XML NS colon TNS, then you will get this error. So if you get like that, then your WSTL definitions, we you, it may have some attribute like XMLNS IO. Okay, so instead of that, simply you can change to TNS. Okay, if you get this error, unable to find binding, go to your definition. In the definition, you just switch to TNS instead of XMLNS IO, we'll resolve this. So now you can see here, you have defined here TNS this should be there okay so sometimes like la like last time when we were, we were uh, generating the apex class from this tail we got some parsing error where we, we got something called any type and any type is not supported so now whenever you see any type simply you can change to string type just find all replace xst any type to xst string Okay, same way we may have some other kind of error. Sometimes you get error like unsupported schema at element found some some line. If you if you see in that uh, schema or WSTL, you will see there will be three attributes, schema attribute defined exactly like this. If you have any uh, attribute defined as uh, access ID, access ID ref, and access Q name, what you can do simply you can go and comment these three attributes commenting these out of this wsdl then you can use in the wsdl to apex okay so uh, you can do that that kind of thing so these are the common issues what i listed out here like this you may get some different kind of issues and each issue may have the different approach but these are the very common issues which usually everybody face when you're inputting or uh, when you're converting wsdl to apex Thank you. Stay tuned for next session.